In this problem, we're told a displacement vector r in the xy plane is 15 meters long and directed at an angle theta, which equals 30 degrees. And we're told to determine the x component and the y component of the vector. So I drew the image in the book here. We have uh, this vector here going off like this. We know it's 15 meters long. And it's going to be at an angle of 30 degrees, right? Because they tell us in this question, uh, it's 15 meters long and theta equals 30 degrees. So whenever I do vectors like these, I like to draw it as a triangle just because it makes it easier to understand. So if we draw this as a triangle, right? So imagine this is going to be the hypotenuse, 15 meters. And then we draw it like this and then up like this. So it forms a triangle, right? You can see that. And so we know this angle right here, theta, is going to be 30 degrees, right? So here's our triangle. And we're trying to find the x component and the y component of the vector. And essentially what that means is if you draw it in a triangle like this, we're trying to find y, the y component, this side right here. This is our y component, and this, right, uh, this side right here is going to be our x component. So essentially all we have to do is find uh, the length of this side and the length of this side if you're like given a distance. And so if you're just given a velocity, it's basically the same thing, except for it's not a distance, it's a velocity, right? So the way we want to go about doing this is by using trick. And so you should know that the sine of an angle, right? In this case, it's going to be 30 degrees. So the sine of 30 degrees, you know sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So the opposite side of your angle divided by the hypotenuse of your angle, right? So our angle is 30 degrees right here. The opposite of it is going to be y, right? I'm labeling it the variable y uh, just to, so something, something we can solve for. And then over the hypotenuse. So what's the hypotenuse of this triangle? Well, it's going to be our vector, right? So 15, right? So the sine of 30 equals y over 15. And if we want to solve for this length right here, which is our y component, we just multiply both sides by 15. Right, so 15 is going to be equal, or y will equal 15 times the sine of 30. And so if you go ahead and do this, you're going to get y equals 7.5. And keep in mind the units. What are the units we're using? Meters. So y equals 7.5 meters. So that's going to be the y component. Let's find the x one. So let me label this a. So let's find b, or that's uh, we just found uh, the b part, right? So the y component. This is actually b. And so let's find the x component. So the way we do that is by using cosine instead. So you're going to take the cosine of your angle, which is 30 degrees. And so cosine, should, you should know, is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So what's the adjacent side of our angle? This is our angle. The adjacent side is x over our hypotenuse, 15. So x over 15. So if we multiply both sides by 15, you're going to get x equals uh, 15 times the cosine of 30. And if you multiply this out or plug it in your calculator, you're going to get it equals 12.99. So I'm just going to round this to 13. So 13, and then our units, once again, our meters. So these right here, this is going to be your answer to A. This is going to be your answer to B. So just a quick way of solving it is essentially what you want to do is if you're trying to find the Y component, just take your vector quantity, right? So in this case, it's 15. Multiply it by the sine of your angle, right? That's just a quick way of knowing it. I tried to work it out for you. So just take your vector quantity, multiply by the sine of your angle. That'll give you the Y. And the x is just going to be uh, your vector, right, times uh, the cosine of your angle. So the cosine of 30, that's going to give you this one. And so, uh, yeah, that's going to be how you solve this problem.